Okay, so um, I guess we're restarting the match. I don't know if anybody took a game, but uh. Uh, going back to Battlefield, so I feel like this definitely works for both of these characters. I mean, obviously because it's the Ditto, but um, for just Yoshi as a character, um, I feel like it also plays to the fact that um, you can use um, Egg in a multitude of ways, and you just have very, um, very diverse combo routes with the amount of combo extensions you can get with the platforms as well. So that's also very interesting what I feel like we might be able to see here. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, you know, you could, you could, you know, you could put on a lot of pressure on those platforms as Yoshi, even to you know their own a known character like Yoshi, especially when you could lock a character like Yoshi in their shield, um, just because of how Yoshi's shield works. But right now, we're you're already seeing like Finest Spoon tack on like a uh, pretty much 120 percent damage, and has kept on the pressure, you know, pretty much like from the jump once again. Like they even started off the last game with a pretty explosive start. Mm -hmm. You know, something I'm already noticing from JJ Tales is that they've definitely been staying a lot in shield. I'm not really sure what they're expecting, but definitely um, adding to the fact that um, Finest Spoon has definitely been applying lots of pressure and just, you know, making it hard for JJ Tales to kind of like really decipher what is their best move to do in neutral next, you know? Yeah, and you know, Spoon's took that stock with another round pound. But pretty much, the rule of thumb against Yoshi most of the time is to stay in shield because Yoshi d can have a hard time with shield, even though they do have a lot of moves like down air that puts a lot of pressure on shield. It can be hard for Yoshi to take a stock, especially when you're turtling shield like that. And uh, it seems like, you know, playing the ditto, you know how much your own character, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, just waiting to see how JJ Tails might take this next stock, going for a edge guard, but going to get stuffed out by that egg. Um, but doesn't even matter because they're going to be right back off stage. Yeah, that's great guy coming out from the final spoon and uh, just, I guess, lost back of their resources and um, lost that stock and JJ Tell kind of brought that back. I feel like they were down by a lot and the final spoon had a lot of momentum. And, you know, with that being said, it's only really a 19% lead. Mm -hmm. I think the best, you know, um, signs of improvement is definitely when you're able to lose your first stock but are able to just you know, take it slow, just realize what you need to do to take that kill or get that kill just because most of the time, like, um, people will just keep on playing the game. They won't really care about what percent they're at and just, like, go crazy, but not really remember that they need to just take it slow and just, like, find them a kill fast and efficiently so that they can get to the next stop. Yeah, yeah, fast and efficient is pretty much the going to be the name of the game of this ditto, and it's like they're both they both know their character so well that they're turtling in shield at any chance, and I feel like it's going to come down to which one of these guys can be a little bit more aggressive and take a little bit more chances, right? Especially when it comes to turtling up in shield like that. Somebody's going to have to take a chance when it comes to doing out of shield options, and uh, you know, I feel like that's always going to come out of a deadlock. Mm. Okay, um, so definitely very even right now, um, you know, I feel like definitely, okay, and we're gonna have that first, um, that second stock taken by Finest Spoon, but definitely just loving to see that kind of neutral play just because, um, as you said before, this is kind of one of those, this characters that struggle in shield and just finding it very hard to kill once they get to that kill percent, but yeah. Yeah, and I have to say, uh, Spoon's... Forward air conversions have been pretty crazy because yeah, the Spoons did a couple forward air conversions off the platform. We got the forward air conversions into up air as a kill confirm. And uh, even as like a very hard whiff punish tool, like, you know, just coming out of shield just like right there by Spoons. The uh, great utilization of the forward air, man. Mm -hmm. Definitely adding on to that, I really do feel like um, Spoons' aggression might have, is really looking very solid right now. Especially um, seeing how like they took most of their kills by um, down B, just um, threatening that space and just not really caring about like uh, the ramifications, even though it does seem a little bit um, risky. I'm, I'm kind of mad that JJ Tails just did jab down B and Spoons immediately just try to try to do down, jab down B right back. It's like they all it's like all Yoshi means to the same brain or something. 
I don't know. They might just have gone the same brain cell. Yeah. But um, but that, but that is that is a pretty pretty funny stuff because sometimes when you see your opponent do something, especially in a ditto, you can think to yourself like, hey, I want to steal that, right? Like you know, let's see if it works for yourself. And that's one of the funny things about dittos is that you could probably replicate it one to one if you really wanted to in your matchup like that. Oh no, the shield. Oh. Okay, very interesting. Um, so definitely this is one of those um, places here where we're just going to see a little bit of hard time killing. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of whiffing going between these mm. two people, but definitely going to have to see how, um, you know, JJ Tails uses that grab to just kind of set up for more situations to kind of um, force find a spoon. Kind of be scared of like how they want to land and whatnot. Mm. And I, I want to say that was like a pretty funny interaction when they're both on the other side of the stage and they're both doing B reverse, um, their command grab, the B reverse, um, Eggway. Mm -hmm. And, uh, just trying to get either, either one of them out of shield and, um, block Nair out of shield to Nair out of shield. Too much of the project. And, uh, yeah, Spoon's gonna, is gonna take that, uh, and go up seemingly 1 0, uh, if we're not counting the first game. Oh yeah, you know what's the funny thing here? Um, so I I don't know if anyone can see, but I have my red Yoshi. I I think it's the red Yoshi that's kind of giving the good luck, and the only color that I don't have is the green Yoshi and others. But that's not the point. <laughs> so <laughs> sounds like some commentator bias if I haven't heard. You know what? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> truthfully, <laughs> <laughs> a little We're just... a little bit of commentator bias, yeah. I don't know. I'm just. I'm. We're just gonna have to see JJ Tails kind of a uh, proof otherwise that uh, they are going to take this set no matter what. Yeah, and you know, what? I, I from both of them, I feel like I would like to see a little bit more Eggly, and I'm surprised that we haven't seen more Eggly out of these guys. Mostly because that's a tool that Yoshi uses against a lot, a lot of other characters, especially when the turtle against Yoshi. Because a lot of characters do like the turtle against Yoshi, so I'm surprised that we. Seen very little egg lay from both players in this matchup, especially when you know they're both going to turtle and shoot. Mm -hmm. Definitely like that kill confirmed coming out there. Hopefully, going to see it some more. But I remember, I think it was in this game too as well. We did see a um, instance where um, Finest Spoon did get a um, jab lock, but they went for the second nair. So maybe that was just one of the times where they kind of missed it. But you know, getting into the next game, um, definitely hoping to see some more improvement from both of these players. You know. Yeah, we're gonna go to PS3 this time. This is this is another um, Yoshi stage. You know, obviously. Ditto, but like uh, Yoshi's do like this stage. Most of it's the platform lane. They get shark on platforms easier also. And, uh, so, you know, it's a water stage, and Yoshi can live a pretty long time. So, you know, I understand the, you know, the need for a stage with Yoshi player. But um, right now, it seems like it's starting off pretty even. You know, I'm going to be very honest. How do you feel about, like, uh, mm. Yoshi kind of staying grounded in terms of just, like, playing neutral and whatnot, instead of just, you know, staying mostly air base. Um, well, I, I feel like in the ditto, um, you kind of have to, like, put more pressure on shield, and I feel like in, in like, in the ditto, it's gonna be hard to, like, put ground pressure on Yoshi. Um, and I feel like jumping, jumping in that sense, would give you uh, more access to, like, super armor and stuff like that. So I feel like you might have to jump in this matchup, but um, you know, with that being said, uh, they tell us, you did it tell us up to like a much better start than they were in game one, definitely. Very nice get up attack there. Um, just kind of getting out of that on um, tech situation altogether. Ooh, very nice tech there as well. That was a crazy tech. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, crazy parry. Yeah, crazy parry coming out from JD Tells parrying that down air and immediately punishing, right? Because if you don't immediately punish that, you could, you're probably gonna get hit by another one of those down airs if you don't keep shielding. So good recognition by JD Tells.
Do you, do you think we're seeing enough egg usage in this ditto? Uh, I like definitely maybe a little bit more egg usage. Um, definitely to kind of cover situations where um, teching on platforms could have been used a lot better. Um, just to cover those options as well. Um, um, definitely stalling, they've definitely been using that as well, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I think most of the um, egg lay usage, is, I mean egg usage, has been good. And, you know, we see, we see Finder Spoon actually getting out of that jab down B, um, Pluto confirmed that Jade Tells was using earlier. And that's a good adaptation coming out from Finder Spoon, because I'm pretty sure you can just SBI down in a way if you're getting hit by, like, jab. Uh, jab down B. So, um, yeah, good stuff by Bonnie Spoon. I'm kind of curious to see why that wasn't an up there up smash out of shield, just because I feel like that should have been. But. It doesn't matter. Um, they're both. Oh no! <laughs> just gonna see the complete reversal there by, um, Finest Spoon. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like when, when you get hit with down there like that, um, especially from the bottom of the screen, even as Yoshi, it's like you lose a little bit of emotional advantage when that happens. Even though even though right now JJ Tails is right behind Finest Boom, um, I feel like that down there that would have hurt me. I'm definitely playing a lot of more neutral here. Um, just seeing, you know, how they can start wrecking up their damage a lot more. Um, the kind of crazy thing is, too, since this is the same character, they have the same routes, obviously, to kind of just rack up that same damage. So, it's kind of just looking like they're going to have to start figuring out more of how they're going to start their combos to kind of get that damage. But definitely looking like, um, Spoon's, ha or Finest Spoon has been, um, definitely more on top of that than they JJ Tails. Yeah, and I like- I actually like how Finest Spoons is playing the lead right now, right? Because Finest Spoons knows that in this situation, JJ Tails has to approach. So they're gonna stand on the platform, they're gonna face for stuff like back air- back air off platform, potential for like near off platform, right? Just stuff that leads into a tech chase situation. And knowing JJ Tails has to approach and can't just turtle in their shield across stage, they're gonna try to bait something out. We're gonna see maybe a whiff punish, like an up tilt and up air. Okay, definitely gonna start setting up this um, ledge trapping situation right here. And we're gonna see a jump out of the corner, but not really gonna be challenged. Um, but just definitely waiting to see um, how Spoons is definitely gonna keep on setting up these situations, just because that's probably one of the best things for them right now, just to kind of make JJ Tails, you know, more scared of them, because even if you know, he's um, getting back up to that percent, you know, he's at 85%. He still needs to kind of start thinking about it more, um, you know, decisively so that it doesn't matter what percent they're at, the pressure is just going to need to, like, stay there and just find the kill that way. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, at some point, j is going to have to apply some type of pressure. And I'm really surprised because Spoon has been playing this really patient game and making JJ Tails approach. And a couple of times, JJ Tails has thrown out like pretty laggy options, like like a laggy uh, like a laggy uh, grab across stage, a laggy dash attack. But it doesn't matter because uh, he gimped him anyway. Yep, just gonna see. Um, I don't. I think it was probably because they didn't mash hard enough. If I remember correctly. But yeah, definitely yeah. gonna take that game 2-0 by um, Finest Spoon, very nice game coming in there. Definitely showing their prowess and their skill in terms of just um, their aggression and whatnot. Yeah, like, you know, their aggression and knowing how to play against their own character, right? I feel like both players did show proficiency and knowledge when playing against their own character. Uh, but I, I feel like in that last game, Finest Spoon really just like kind of showed a big Yoshi weakness. And that's Yoshi generate generating offense while down a stock. And I feel like Spoons towards that last stock kicked it into overdrive when it came to running away, when it came to not approaching, 
when it came to like you know just standing on the other side of the stage throwing eggs throwing out you know uh space aerials like you know cross barrels like cross up back air cross up down air just so jj tells would approach and you know they could whip punish hard and i mean you know that last stock was pretty much as jj tells just swinging at the swinging at the fences and just trying to catch finest one all over the place you know and finest would end up taking it well that was definitely an amazing game there coming in from both uh Finest Spin and JJ Tails, definitely very interested to um, see who we're going to get next. Maybe a Ditto, maybe not a Ditto, I don't know, you know. Oh my god. Um, uh, if, if, if there's another Ditto, i die. Please. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like we don't have a... I feel like in this bracket, we don't have a lot.